Hi guys, welcome to this episode of Ground Zero. My name is Terence, and making her debut in our citizen journalism highlights this week is a new girl on the block, Kara. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, Kara, what are your thoughts on the type of stories that come into Stomp? Okay, well, I reckon they're usually attention-grabbing issues, you know, something bad or unsightly. Well, that's usually the case, yeah. but not always, as these few stories will show. Singaporeans often draw criticism for minding their own business and not helping out those around them who are in need. But there are good Samaritans around too, who deserve mention as well. One Singaporean's good deed was witnessed by Stomper Sack, who was travelling along Jalan Anak Road when a tree in front of her toppled over and hit two cars. Both cars were badly damaged with one rear windscreen smash, but both drivers were unhurt. A traffic jam ensued for about 20 minutes until a group of people from a lorry nearby came forward to help clear a path for traffic to move again. The Stomper Road. They had tools on board the lorry which allowed them to cut through some of the branches and a section of the fallen tree. Soon after, they cleared a path for vehicles to pass through on one lane. And that's not the only Good Samaritan in action. Stomper Benjamin spotted a group of helpful people at Bukit Batok Avenue 6 who went to the aid of a motorcyclist whose bike skidded on the wet road. They were pictured moving the bike back to its upright position, earning the praise of the Stomper who wrote, Quick helpful motorists in the accident where the bike skidded. Fellow Stompers were also quick to commend the helpful group, with John Ship saying, That's the spirit, true blue Singaporean. Tom Fudge said that this gave him such a heartwarming feeling which shows that we are after all one Singapore. Well, that's not all. Stomper Steric was at a market in Jalan Bukit Merah when he found a group of residents who rallied together to help set a bird free. Apparently, the bird was unable to fly off a tree as both its feet were bounded by a nylon wire on the tree branch. Seeing this, the residents discussed and devised a method to bring the bird down. Then one of them cuts away the nylon wire with extreme care so as to not hurt the bird. The Stomper wrote, These residents had saved a bird and an uncle brought it home to look after it. Although it didn't survive the next day, at least it can rest in peace rather than die with both its feet entangled in nylon wiring. Well, Steric also mentioned that the majority of animal-related news is about cruelty towards animals, so he hopes people can have more love, care and passion for the society. I hope so too. If anything, these stories serve as a reminder that it's not all gloomy in the world of citizen journalism. There are good deeds that get featured on Storm too. It's not always complaints and no praise. You know what, Kara? I couldn't have said that better myself. Coming up, we take a look at some citizens who have decided to be judge, jury and executioner all rolled into one. 